Maybe when he was at Kamba, you will inform me. There is this program coming up in Los Angeles. The program is on strategic planning and management. And I want you to attend the course. I know why I've chosen you. I know your intelligence. I know the position you occupy in this company. That program comes up next month and it's only for two months. Michael's program will last longer, six months. I know two of you very well. That is why I've chosen you for this particular program. Dad, I am not interested. I'm off to work. Gabriel, come back here. Come back here. Don't be rash. This program is in your own interest and in the interest of the company. Think about it. have I told you to stop calling them my stepsons? For Christ's sake, they are my children too. What is the problem? Nothing. Nothing. Then why were you screaming at yourselves upstairs? Leave me alone. Just leave me now. Leave me alone. I said leave me. Go. Go. Go away. Leave me. Yes, what is it? Listen, I told him to wait. He should wait for me. I'm on my way to the office. Daddy, I want to go and stay with the family. I don't know when our strike will be over. And this one might be endless. Have you told him? Yes, I called him and the wife. And he said I said she wanted me to come and stay with her. What about your mom? Have you told her? I have. And, uh, she agreed. Okay. When do you intend to go? Um, the day after tomorrow. All right. I get the message. Hey, bro. I don't like the way you talked to your father yesterday. Well, you don't understand. I'm sorry if I had talked to him in a rash manner, but the way dad makes and takes decisions in this compound, in this house, is unfair. And he wants to impose it on someone and want that thing implemented. It's unfair. I, nobody's a baby anymore. I'm not a baby. So what did he do this time? Mom, can you imagine? Dad had made and concluded an arrangement for Michael to go to Germany for one um, executive training program. Such an official matter of that magnitude without consulting me. When I confronted him, that was, that was when he, he was telling me that I too, that I'm going for one uh, program um, 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 in the US. I don't, I'm not even uh, interested. Really? So, when did he say you're leaving? Um, he said that. Uh, Michael will go first, then uh, a month after, I will follow suit. Anyway, whatever happens, I still insist that you accord your father some respect when you talk with him. He is your father. I've heard you. I said I was sorry. 
If you don't mind, excuse me. I, I have some things to do upstairs. Okay. Uh, go. Gabriel and Michael traveling at the same time? Oh, my dear. You see, these boys will soon take over the running of this company. So they need to acquire more experience. That's why Michael is going to Germany and uh, Gabriel is going to US. Experience what? Do you ever think of yourself? Do you ever think of me? By the time these children travel, you'll be working 24 hours. You will no longer have time for me. Or do you want to make me a widow? Oh, uh, love it. Let's not discuss this now. I have made my decision and it's final. Oh. Now I know. You have taken a decision and it is final. Does it mean I no longer have a stake in this house? For Christ's sake, I've groomed these children like my own. I've never made any distinction between them and my biological daughter. Oh, I see. I have just a daughter. No. But I'll tell you what, it will not happen, not in this house, unless I am not loved. Oh, love it, please, please. Let's not go into this. See, uh, I appreciate it that uh, you care for me. I'm very happy about it. But we have to think about the future. It's very important. See, I will always be there for you. Okay? Nothing will happen to me. I'll be there for you. Come on. Now give me a smile. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. Forget it. I'm only there for you. <laughs> Are you doing with my woman? Give me what are you talking about. I'm doing nothing. You're embarrassing me. Michael, do you know you're raising your voice on your elder brother? I'm not raising my voice against you. Now, me. listen to me. If you know what is good for you and I in this house, you had better tell me what you're doing with my woman. Gabriel, I'm doing absolutely nothing with your woman, okay? I'm doing nothing with your woman. You're doing nothing with my woman. What's the problem with you, Gabriel? I'm doing nothing with you. I'll tell you what. Michael, this is just um, a dream come true, you know. 
we should take this opportunity very seriously. Understand? Yeah. Well, I I miss mom a lot. I, I I wish you know mom were alive to see the two sons um, doing very well. You know, I miss her wherever she is now. I know she'll be proud of us. Yeah, <laughs> well, um, if you travel, you make sure nothing pays attention. You know. I know by the time you get back now, you become a bigger boy. When I ask you for money, you, you'll be telling me stories. Yeah, I want this. <laughs> yeah. Daddy. Dad. <laughs> that was the problem. I did too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank What's you. the problem? No, no, no you're going to tell me. What is it? <laughs> you don't want to tell us. <laughs> What's going on, Dad? What's going on? I don't like that. I don't know. That is very good. Daddy, 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 You see, my children, when I look around my family today, I'm a very happy man. So, I can say that we are one happy, united family. Yes, God. You see, when I see my children, I look up, I say, thank God. <laughs> it's true, Dad. Um, please excuse me, Dad. I am not enjoying myself with this company. Let me use my <laughs> yeah. Michael, Daddy. Deborah, I want to thank both of you for your good cooperation with my wife, Lawrence. <laughs> good luck. We shouldn't be the one doing this. We should be the ones thanking both of you yeah. for everything you have done. You know? Especially your uh, aunt. And to love it, you know, she has been a good mom, you know, taking care of us. Well, right from mom's death, you know, we were so scared that um, we will miss her so much. But um, the vacuum that would have been created um, wasn't there, it was filled with uh, Auntie Lovett, um, you know, present. Well, I want to say thank you for taking us like your own children taking care of all and we will in turn put heads together, hands together, resources together to make sure that we train our sister Susan to the you know status of this family. I love to hear that. No, we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well I say again thank you very much. God will bless you. Yes. <laughs> I enjoy uh, my, myself. Yes. <laughs> my book. Uh, we will be moving to Germany for a management program. Uh, I must say this, it's always good for a man to work hard during the rainy season so that he will starve during the dry season. <laughs> you're, you're right. Yeah, right uh, mm, this food is delicious. I'm, 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 I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, so I will. Are uh, you reminding him what he's supposed to do now? <laughs> uh, Michael, since you'll be going to Port Harcourt to get your document before moving down to Germany, Gabriel, it's your responsibility to take him to the airport. Okay? Uh, no problem. <laughs> I offer my services anytime. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, good meal. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. This is delicious. So oh. you know, like, just hurry up and get yourself a wife to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I will. No problem. I'll, I'll bring him. I'll bring him for that. You're not yeah. reminding her what she's supposed to do. What he's supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that, no problem. Yeah, I'll get one. Uh, nah, that's good as you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
where I was driving just to meet you. <laughs> oh, I'm very kind. Uh, uh, Michael. Dad. See. When you get to Port Harcourt, make sure you call me. All right, Dad. And when you get the visa from my younger brother Stanley, call me. All right, Dad, I will. Good. <laughs> Mommy, I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, Daddy, yes. we have to be going mm -hmm. because, um, yes. you know, Port Harcourt is far from here, so that I come back early. Yes, uh, one more thing. I want you to become a German machine by the time you come back. Ah. <laughs> also, be careful about the Germans. <laughs> Okay, now let's. Okay. Nani, can I go with him? No, 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 I'm not going with him. Oh, okay, you can go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you are going there it's in the interest of the company and your own interest I know that. I want you to use a brain and beat Bill Gates <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not, not, not in the fight. yes 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 <laughs> so uh, okay that yeah. time 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 okay okay let's go let's go I don't want you to miss your flight let's go uh, don't worry come back, come back. Beautiful one, the one you've not seen before. Be a mistake. Be a good girl. Don't have to sit down. Don't go up. Not after that. Not after that. You say you want to go up to your friend. Just stay and wait for mommy and daddy to come back. Okay.
boat. So will I. As a token of my love to you, I want you to be my wife. Hello. How are you? Fine. I was wondering if you're not going to come back. I mean, I was feeling lonely. What do you mean lonely? Is Rachel not in the house? No. She left this house in the afternoon. What? And it's 10 30. And she's not yet back. And you're not worried. Honey, I am. Do you realize that that girl is the only daughter of my brother? Should anything happen to God, girl? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from dressed like this? Um, it's just a friend. I'm just coming from Rachel. a friend's birthday party. Is this why you left your father's house to come to Porta Court? Rachel, what are you turning into? Rachel, what has gotten into you? I know what to do. Rachel, why did you come back with your mates? Now see what you've cost. yourself all because of a girl the father must tell us let me have a khaki and never touch any of my cars again
Richard. Uncle, I'm tired of staying with Richard. Huh? Do you know that Richard came to Podakot and became something else? A man comes and picks her in the morning and drops her in the evening. At times she comes back late in the night. I'm fed up. I can't take it any longer. Richard, is that true? Is that true? Richard, did you hear what your uncle had just said? I'm sorry. Thank you for taking care of Richard. But we have some other life. She's fine. Now go inside. Stanley, we'll thank you for bringing her back. We'll talk about you. Michael has refused to travel. What? I've been trying to talk to him, but doesn't want to listen. The man at the German embassy has processed his visa and has sent it to me. Could you imagine that Michael has already spent one month? The validity period is less than five months. What time will he have to run his program? Oh my God. What could be his problem? There's this girl he goes out with. The girl is a bad influence on him. She has changed his attitude towards everything. Are you telling me that my own son, Michael, refused to travel because of a girl? Yes, brother. Yes. No, Michael can't try that. Michael cannot do that to me. He can't put shame on my name. I must come to Port Harcourt and talk to him. When are you coming, brother? I'm coming there tomorrow. Get inside and pick up my my girl, my girl. Silence means acceptance of guilt. So you want to bring shame on my name? Let me warn you. you I'm giving you an ultimate of 48 hours to leave this country. Else you will lose all your inheritance from my will. And if you go contrary to my instructions, you will live to regret it. Okay, sir. I'm going. I thank you very much for what you have done for me. Just leave him for me. I will show him I'm his father. I'm good. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, 
What's the problem? Uh, look at my baby crying. Ever since Michael left, I let you get her drunk here. He has never been the same. It's I... as though a part of us is completely gone. Yes, I know that. I miss them too. But uh, there's nothing we can do. We want for something good. It's okay. Relax, my baby. Relax. Uh, it's a long time I took you before out. I want to take you to Five Star Hotel this weekend for us to spend it. Darling, that would be wonderful. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you think, Daddy? Daddy is trying to make us happy. What Daddy's is waiting. Good. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> hey, so what do you have for me? Guess what? Just your favorite. Oh, that's wonderful. I can't wait to taste that. Let's go downstairs. Come on, cheer up. Cheer up, cheer up. Your dad is here. Your dad is here. Doctor, that's my daughter. Uh, your daughter is uh, well, um, she fainted as a result of uh, stress, and um, we found out that your daughter is three weeks pregnant. Three weeks, what? Yes, three weeks pregnant, or is... what? Pregnant, yes. Uh, is there anything wrong in that? Uh, thank you for being such a good friend. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. I told you not to allow Rachel to go to Stanley's house. But you allowed her. Is Stanley not your brother? And so? If I had agreed, why did you also agree? Uh, look at what your daughter has done. Oh, she is not my daughter. She has gone to become pregnant. Look, you had better take her back to whoever gave her that pregnancy. Because I will not have a bastard in my house. She is not my daughter.
What did the doctor say? Well, he said I'm better now that I should try and fit properly, get some rest. I should also come to the hospital from time to time for treatment and checkup. He also said the baby is safe. So, what do you intend to do with the baby? Nothing. I'm going to have the baby. You won't have the baby. Richard, do you consider my position in the church? Do you consider the position of this family in the church? If your brother Desmond does it, he will kill you. So, Mom, what are you talking about? Get rid of the pregnancy. Mom, are you asking me to have an abortion? No, I would not. That's mother. I'm going to have this baby. I love the father of the child and I'm going to keep him. And who is the father of the baby? Who is the father? Richard, come back here. Come back here. You know what you are doing to yourself? Don't you want to go to school again? You want to ruin your life? A small girl like you? Mom, I am not a small girl anymore. Now, Who is the father of this baby? I know how to go about it. I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? So you went to Porter Court and became a wayward girl. Excuse me. My baby. <laughs> you make me feel so young again. Yeah, and always there for me. That's very important. So you got some sleep finally. Oh yes, I did. You know, with you everything is alright. I know it will be okay. She hasn't. Did you ask her? Yes, I, 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 I did, but. But what? But what? Now go and call her.
Richard. Who's the man that put you in the phone? Richard, talk now. Are you deaf or dumb? Which? Oh, and you have a ring. <laughs> and who gave you that ring? Won't you talk? I decided to come and know how you feel. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you see me? Richard, calm down. I know how you feel. Hmm? We came looking for you. But your uncle did not allow me. You walked him out. Calm down. Don't worry. What will they be? Auntie Sarah, yes. you know my uncle is responsible for my present predicament. What? He has made my life miserable. I can't stop thinking about Nick. You know I love him. It's alright. I know. He loves you too. And I know wherever he is right now, he's thinking so much about you. He loves you. Put yourself together, okay? I promise I will keep myself for Nick and for him alone. Girl. But for my uncle, I will never forgive him. Come on. Don't say that. You know your uncle did what he did because he wanted the best for you. I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. What is it? I don't know what to do about this pregnancy. Oh my God. Are you pregnant? Yes. Oh gosh. Do your parents know about this? So, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to abort it? I'm sorry, don't even mention abortion because I will not do it. Calm down. It's all right. What will be, will be. Take me here. Upside down, because you have disappeared. disappeared. Nick, where are you? I've oh. searched for you, but oh. you are nowhere to be found. No, it's not what you promised. Please come back to Please me. Please come back to me. Please come I back to me. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat. Oh. Everything has turned upside down. Everything. Nick, where are you? I've searched for you, but you are nowhere to be found. This is not what you promised. Please come back to me. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat. Everything has turned upside down because you have disappeared. Nick, where are you? I've searched for you, but you are nowhere to be found. No, it's not what you promised. Please come back to me. Please come back to me. I cannot 
cannot sleep, I cannot eat, everything oh, is turned upside down because you have disappeared. Nick, where are you? I've searched for you, but you are nowhere to be found. This is not what you promised. Please come back to me. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat. is fine, except that uh, we're having a little problem with Rachel here. I'll talk to you about it later. No, not now. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, I remember. Thank you. Bye. Darling, do you know that Rachel is still crying? So? For some days now, she has not eaten. Darling, do something. Talk to her. She can eat. Please. Please. What is wrong with that girl? What is wrong with her? Must she kill herself because of a man? Huh? Darling. Don't talk like that. She's our daughter. Our only daughter. <laughs> this nick of it boy wants to kill my daughter. All right. I'll go and talk to her at my own time. At your own time? Well, that's what I said. Darling, did you say you'll talk to her at your own time? Yes. Let something happen to my daughter. Let something happen to her. We'll see. Why do you see that? Huh? Look, we know what you are going through. It is not easy, but you have to take care of yourself. Your mother is worried. I too am worried. But you have to pull yourself together, my daughter. Huh? Daddy, I can't. I can't stop thinking about him. Daddy, he is my first love. You know, I've never fallen in love with any other man. Oh, I just can't forget him like that. Yes. Love is a delicate thing and it must be handled with care. Hmm? Don't worry. Look, just put your trust in God. Come, let's do it. I want to ask you a question. 
would you want me to send you over to Switzerland to join your brother this month there? You continue your education there and uh, you get over there and get over all this. You found out that your daughter is three weeks pregnant. Three weeks what? Three weeks pregnant or you... What? Pregnant? Church? Do you consider the position of this family in the church? Is it the same Howard that I used to know? One Johnson Howard. We were together at the University of Nigeria. I was in my final year when he was in his second year. And uh, we shared the same hostel. My very good friend. Oh my God. He, he's my elder brother, sir. He's my father. Uh huh? Yes, sir. What a coincidence. So, Howard is in this city. Oh, Richard. Hello. Hi. Oh, you know him? Sure, Daddy. This is the man I see from the Arsenal's on my way back from the hospital. Exactly, sir. That's so. Exactly. Now, why were they after you? Sir, I wouldn't know. Maybe because of my profession as a journalist. In fact, sir, you, you have to help me thank God. Your daughter really saved me, sir. Well, it's all right. So, I mean... We should be our brother's keeper. Sir, sir. Darling, yes, sir. these people are related to my very good friend in my university days, Johnson Howard. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure, my dear. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no, oh, no, sir. 
We we just need to say show appreciation for what your daughter, your daughter did. For me, right now we have to believe it. Okay. My regards to Johnson. Tell him that I must try to see him soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. These people have reminded me my university days when I was a young man. <laughs> I hope it's not reminding you of your girlfriend Miriam, who later became a minister. Jealousy. <laughs> your life begins at fault. Didn't I marry you? Huh? You get friend there, you become a minister. Uh, <laughs> hey, Johnson, Johnson, this is wonderful. Uh, ah, if anyone had told me that you be your own daughter, who will save the life of my younger brother, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Uh, that's the word of the world. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is good. So. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm I fine. I can see you are fine. Yes, I've been trying my best in my own way. So I will say that God has been very merciful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I have two sons now, mm -hmm. whom I've sent abroad for special management programs. Okay. Yes, and uh, you know I'll be retiring soon. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not looking like this tiny age. <laughs> well, what do we do? <laughs> so I want them to take over from wherever we stop. Okay. Yes. Okay. I also have a daughter. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And the wife? Uh, yes. I lost my first wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a pity. Yes, and uh, I, yes, I married the second one that uh, gave me the girl. Ah. Yes. Too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Mm. So, how are you now? Oh, well. I thank God for everything. Yes. Um, I have uh, two children. Yes. A boy and a girl. Okay. Uh, Desmond is in Switzerland and is doing very well. Oh, that's a wonderful news. Uh, Rachel, who came later, is still in the university. Mm. That's good. That's good. Ah, Iman, seeing you reminds me of those <laughs> old days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm sure you must have a change. You're no longer stubborn. <laughs> Johnson, you. But also very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> you see, uh, students of those days, they were very, very serious with the education. That's and very intelligent. Mm -hmm. You see, unlike uh, these days, you find these children, even from the age of 10, going to internet to browse on trivial things mm -hmm. instead of uh, getting information that could develop them intellectually. You see, so that is a problem. Look, in those days, education had intrinsic value. Yes. But these days, it is the exclusive value of education that they it matters want. to them. They yes, want yes. to make money. Yes. They want fun. Yes. Look, the internet you talk about is not all that bad. Yeah. But it is going there to watch pornography, to learn how to do 419. Yeah. That is the bad thing about it. Yeah. And we are not it. really there to huh? control whatever they are exactly. doing. Exactly. Right. Oh, well, well, that's all right. Let me show you around. Let me show you around. Oh, man. You have a nice place here. Yes, I have. I have. I have. See, mm -hmm. See you. It makes me feel that I'm still very young. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, that's, 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 that's how it has always been. Um, Ever since my two sons traveled, uh, Gabriel and Michael, Susan, my daughter, has been very unhappy and lonely. But I must say that uh, I'm a bit relieved since uh, Susan met Rachel, your daughter. They have been very good friends, and uh, I've observed them, and I love their association. Okay. Yes, uh, Susan has personally requested that uh, you should allow Rachel to come and stay with her. So I don't know what you say. Um, there's no problem with that. Rachel had been a bit down lately. Mm -hmm. I guess the change will be very good for her. What do you say, Vivian? <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. all right. No problem about that. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good. <laughs> I love to hear that. I know you will not uh, disappoint me, madam. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to dance to the Daddy. Oh, oh, oh my dear. Yeah. 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 Hello, Susan. Yeah. You see, I told you. Uh, okay, girls. I'm sure that this is uh, good information for you. We have agreed, so two of you can stay together. <laughs> thank you. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, sir. That's good. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, you see? So at least. Susan, yes. I want to ask you something. Yes. Do you have a boyfriend? A boyfriend? Oh, don't say that. My mommy has issues. Go to go and I want to ask you something. Why is it that time you go so many people? Mm. Or is it that you're not happy to see you? No, I am. I am. Your, your family is very nice to me. It's just that. When I think of one or two things, I just go sad. One or two things like what? What is it? No, let's not go into that. Yes, please. What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm alright, are you? Uh, no, 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 no. I can't make it to the club. Uh, no, man. I had so much fun in America, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you about it later, man. <laughs> Come on, you know I always beat you. You know, tennis is, I mean, that's my game, man. I always trash you. <laughs> yeah, man. No, 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 I can't because I have a lot to clear on my desk. All right. I'll speak to you later. Thanks for calling, man. Yeah. Later. Bye. Uh, Uncle Gabriel, your food is ready. Would you like to take it with uh, juice or just water? Uh, water will do. Um, what did you prepare? I'm sure you like it. It's mm. coconut rice. Wow, coconut rice. Yeah. Alright. I'll join you later. Um, Rachel. I'll speak to you later.
Uh, you said you are interested in Rachel. Yes, brother. Um, you know, ever since I met her, um, everything has really changed. I see. I'm not the same again. <laughs> well, it's okay. But I don't know what her intentions are. So I have to call her to ask her. It's okay. Rachel! Rachel! Yes, Daddy. Yeah, come here. Yes, um... I am sure you know my younger brother. Sure, I do. He had made a proposal. Proposal? Yeah. Uh, about... He said he's interested in having you as a wife. Um... Daddy, I I'm not ready now. I want to finish my first degree and pursue a master program. After that, I can then think of settling down. I see. I see. It's okay. You, I've heard you, and uh, you are entitled to your opinion at this age. It's all right. You can go. Yeah, Steve. Uh, you've had her, and uh, if you insist. That means you have to wait for six years. Brother, you see, um, six years is not six days. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and one is not getting younger. Yes, yeah. so you have to look uh, outside to get another girl to marry. And I want you to get married as quickly as possible. You're not getting younger. See, I married quite early. So you have to get married immediately. The problem is that there are a lot of girls in the street. I see. But getting a wife is the problem. <laughs> see, it's, you have to use your wisdom to get a wife. Okay? Um, Dad, uh, there's something I want us to discuss. I see. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it might sound uh, funny, but um, that, um, I don't know. It's all right. Why don't you sit down and we discuss it? <laughs> oh, Daddy. Eat. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> it, might, it might sound funny. Uh. <laughs> I don't know about that. Seriously, I am. I'm serious. I, you know, there's this feeling I get, and uh, you can't lie to your emotions. Like I, there's nothing I could do than to uh, call you to bear my mind. There's this um, this girl, this uh, Suzanne's friend, Rachel. Yeah. That I think I like her. I mean, since I came back and that from the first time I saw her. There's this um, thing that struck me, and uh, I've never felt like that for any woman in my life. And I just thought it would be um, ideal if I discuss it with you. Uh, well, I think you need to come out more. Let me know exactly what you want. Okay, Dad. If it's possible, I wouldn't mind um, taking her as my wife. What you've just said now makes me happy. <laughs> that girl is very nice, hardworking, very intelligent. She's even undergraduate, except this uh, ASU strike, uh, which seems uh, handless. Otherwise, she should be in school by now. I'm very happy that uh, my own son has noticed these qualities in her. What I can say now is that um, as your father, I will give you all the encouragement you need. Oh, Dad, I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. Yes. I don't know. I'm yeah. so happy. Yeah. And um, have you tried to talk to her? <gasps> Daddy, I can't because she might be scared. Ah, it's all right. It's all right. Yes, I know what to do as a father. I will. I will start the initial, uh, you know, approach. I will talk to her. 
Yes, if I'm you do this for me, I'll be very, very glad. Yeah, I will look like this. I have one more. No, she's inside. Okay. Yeah. Let me see her. Okay. I will love you all this while. Um, you are nice, respectful, hardworking, and intelligent. Thank you, thank you. Yes, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I want you to remain here permanently. Uh, that's a good idea, Daddy. But I'm already staying. Yes, I know, but not what you think. Um, I want to ask something from you. Please don't tell me. Do you have an idea? It's all right. Uh, Rachel, I want you to marry my son, Gabriel. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't say anything. See, I will talk to your father and uh, I'm sure Emmanuel will not say no to me. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. It's okay, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. That will strengthen the bond of friendship between the two families. <laughs> you know that. Uh, I don't know. Is there any problem? I, I was thinking if Richard is not too small for Gabriel. I don't think uh, it's a problem. See, they will grow up. What about my wife and I? You see, what is important in marriage is the love and care. Once they have that for each other, I don't think there will be any problem. Yes, you still have to do one more thing for me. <clears throat> I want us to have a small introduction. You know, at least to give Rachel some assurance about the marriage. Here, here before the main uh, traditional wedding in the village. So I want you to give me a date. I'll give you a date later. Hey man, why can't you give me the date now? I'll be sure. <laughs> uh, show me now. Okay, okay. Uh, by the way, I thought I was like a... Oh, he called and uh, we talked and then we discussed a lot of things. So it's only left we can now talk that. Uh, the tradition is fast approaching. What do we do? How do you mean? I mean, we've not told him about the pregnancy. Don't worry, I'll think of what to do. Don't bother. I'll make Richard force the pregnancy on Gabriel. Do you think it will work? But just watch and see.
Traditional wedding, so you must do the church wedding. You must. What has Rachel done? Gabriel, what is it? Can, can you imagine, Rachel? Can you imagine? My wife will not allow me to touch her. For what? My friend, you are getting it wrong. That girl is still very young. Then I should go outside and look for, for it. You can't do that. Gabriel, calm down. She will get to be all you want her to be. When we are both old. In due course. In due course. Dad, I am no longer interested in that church wedding. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see her again, please. For at least for now. Dad, I am moving out of this house. I am you moving into the new house. That. You can't do that. What are you saying? The wedding invitation cards are with the printers. Dad, withdraw the wedding cards from the printers, Dad. I will not do that. Dad, you will. I will not. I will not go ahead with that marriage. You oh, have ways. Get rid of these kids will kill in this house. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. It's my boy. It's okay. I'll talk to you. Rachel. Yes, sir. What is going on between you and Gabriel? 
Gabriel came to report you to us that you've refused him coming close to you. I am sure you know what I mean. Yes, sir. It's because, um, it's because, uh, sir, you know that um, I'm a good Christian and I'm trying to make him understand that he should wait or hold on until after the church wedding. You see, there is a way you can go about these things. I mean, uh, I'm also a woman and somehow we managed to make the ropes meet somehow. I mean, you can, you can sit down with him and have a chat. That way, you don't get hot and he doesn't get hot. Uh, I'm sure you've heard what my wife told you now. Yes, sir. Good. Now, go and get us two glasses of juice. Okay. Drop some ice cube with it. Yes, sir. Your stance on this matter is not good. The church wedding is just by the corner. You can't afford to abandon us now. You haven't even bothered to visit home since you left. All I'm saying is, you come back and take your wife. Oh, really? If you want to eat now. Not good. So how is Susie? Susie is okay. Yeah, tell her to come to sleep in one of these days. Oh yeah, I'm sure she
Why is it that all these flowers are left untrimmed? Is it because Gabriel is no longer staying in this house and everything is left undone? No, Uncle. Then what's the problem? I will soon trim them. Make sure all these flowers are trimmed, okay? Yes, Uncle. Now, now get out. Thank you. Oh, Michael. Yeah. What's up? How are you doing? I'm alright. I want us to talk. Now, sit down. You sit down. I'm okay. Alright. I want us to talk about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? You see, um, Michael, money and women, they are the things that bring um, dissolution men among brothers. And um, I wouldn't want that to happen to her. That's why I decided to come here this morning for us to talk about it like brothers and friends well come on come on come on you see michael <laughs> you cannot claim ignorance of what happened yesterday because um, it wouldn't have happened if you had nothing to do with rachel and um since last night since we got back to my house she has been behaving strangely that's why stopped me so much i said no you're my brother let's talk about it amicably and settle it once and for all what do you have with my wife deborah i have nothing to talk about rachel is your wife she can go on and marry her michael you don't walk out on your own So, this is the way you want it. Okay. Okay. Um, what of uh, mom and dad? Uh, dad and mom are upstairs. Baby is not Gabriel's baby. 
It is yours. Dewey has never touched me. Never. Rachel, you slapped me. Listen, I don't want to see you in my life again. Nobody would know any trace of you. Do that! You took my life. What? What did you say? You had me right. Gabriel, that wedding will not hold. Tell me the truth. I'm going to tell Gabriel's father. What? Who is responsible? Rachel, who is responsible? Who owns this pregnancy? Because I know it's not my son. Gabriel, my son, has never touched you because you've never allowed him. Rachel. 
What kind of disgrace are you bringing to this family? Zakra, where is it, madam? Sir, madam is outside. I see. What about the food? The table has been said, sir. Uh, well, I must not fail to tell you this. You are cooking these days is not encouraging. You told me you were a chef in a big hotel. Of course, sir. Why haven't you shown me that? Sir, I promise. See, I employed you here in the first instance because I don't want my wife to enter the kitchen. Zachary, what are you doing here? Come on, get, get, get out! Doesn't. Yes. There is a problem. What is it? Johnson. Rachel is pregnant. Uh, love it. I don't know you to be a joker. This is not a joke, Justin. This is not a joke. I mean, Rachel is pregnant and Gabriel is not responsible. You have to do something and you have to do so now. What are you saying? Do you know what you're saying? Yes, madam. Where is your husband? It's okay. I'm coming over to your house right away. Tell him to wait for me as soon as he comes back. Zachary! Zachary! Tell the driver to be ready for me. My dear, don't worry yourself. I am going to handle this and I'm going to trash it out with a manner. Just calm down, I am going there right away. Manu, I was just coming to your house. Well, I'm here now. Why didn't you tell me that your daughter was pregnant? Don't you have anything to say? Uh, let's not go into that. Let's find a solution. What solution? Do you know the embarrassment you are going to cost me and my family? Well, your family would have been embarrassed, but my own family is already embarrassed. So I would suggest that we sit down and discuss this thing properly. Emmanuel, how could you do a thing like this to your best friend? How could you? I know how you feel, but let's just... Let's go inside and talk. Go! 
Telling us the truth? She's not. She's a liar. Mommy, I'm not lying. Daddy, I'm not. I met Michael at Port Harcourt when I was staying with my uncle. We met and fell in love. But when my uncle returned me back to my parents, I discovered that I was pregnant. So why didn't you tell us you were pregnant? I left everything to fit. Michael was my first love. I gave him my virginity. We have an oath. I didn't want to divide our love. That was why when you asked me to marry Gabriel, I, I was reluctant. And I didn't know Michael was Gabriel's brother. Because the name Michael gave me at Port Harcourt was Nick. I didn't even know I'm staying in Michael's house. What is good for you and I in this house? You had better tell me what 
you do with my woman, Gabriel, I'm doing absolutely nothing with your woman, okay? I'm doing nothing with your woman. You're doing nothing with my woman. What's the problem with you, Gabriel? I'm doing absolutely nothing with your woman. What the problem is? I'll tell you what. Water that has been coming out. I've been cleaning it. Come on, come on. You must be contracted. Come, let's get to the hospital. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, I'll take it easy. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Mommy, have this in Michael. Don't bother about Michael. He just called. He's alright. Uh, shown any concern. I think I, I better go back to my parents. And God will bear me witness. This baby is Michael's child. Gabriel never touched me. No man did except Michael. Let me check out my grandchild. It's just unfortunate that Michael has been unnecessarily stubborn. But I'll try and take care of things between the two of them. For you, I think you deserve the rest. Go on. It has been made fatherless. You have abandoned us. Oh, you have made us outcast. Yeah. 
You are wearing the shirt my son Desmond sent to me from Switzerland. Is Desmond not my son too? Is he not good on me? Ooh. Look, one of these days I am going to wear your dress. That would be fantastic. Which one of them? Is it the long skirt or the bugle? Whichever. <laughs> <laughs> So is dying, dying, passing away. My love is betrayed. Can love be so wicked? I can't believe it. This thing is happening to me. My life has become. Oh. What's the meaning of this? The truth you are? No, I... I decided to leave after Nick denied me. And what of your baby? Nick's mother took him. This Nick of a boy. This Nick of a boy. Nick denied you after all you've gone through for his sake. Anyway, that's the word of the world.
take your life? God! Darling! Darling, no! Please come, 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 come. Look at Richie. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. This is a shipping powder. Richard wants to take her life with this. What? This thing kills! Richard! <laughs> Richard! of life. God is. And um, I want to advise you to forget whatever Michael has done to you. In fact, if he comes and asks for forgiveness, forgive him. Did you hear what your father said? Yes, ma'am. I am terribly 
very sorry. I think uh, at this point in time, I should um, look for Rachel and apologize to her as well. Okay? Thank you so much. You are brothers again. Brothers again. It's okay. <laughs> Daddy, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's my son. Mom. That's my son. Um, Michael, you, Michael. And I, I think um, at this point in time, the best thing for us to do now is, is to pour champagne. Yeah. Follow me to pass it out. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, yes. I think uh, it will be proper for you to uh, bless and open this church. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, uh, Michael, help me to unwrap it. So very well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. 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 baby treasure as a symbol of what we had he also said he also asked me to forgive him I don't know I can't my dear you have to I can't you have to do this for the sake of your baby I know it's very hard for you what do you have to do not after what she has done. I know. Not after what he did. I know. I know it would be very hard for you to do that. But you have to. You have no choice. When love is real, it lasts. Okay? Find a place in your heart to forgive you.
Mr. Officer Nelson. What do you want to do? Um, please, uh, don't be offended. I came to see Rachel. I think I owe her an apology. What for? Won't you people leave my daughter alone? Huh? Is this how to get married? Haven't you tormented her enough? to take care of treasure, but it's not the same. But a boy simply needs his mother. Whatever happens, you should go and bring back Rachel. I've tried. The other day, I ran into her. I tried to talk to her, but she snubbed me. But that stemmed from the way you treated her. That girl loves you. She's passed through a whole lot for you. I have never seen a girl love a man like that. Whatever happens, I insist you go and beg her. I will try. Come to see you. Really? Yeah. What can I do for you? Oh, wait, just passing by. No, I really came to see you. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> and um, if I may ask, what for? Rachel, I'm sorry. I want you to forgive me. No, Michael, <laughs> you really amuse me. <laughs> That's why I came to ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. Rachel, I know you don't ask about our baby. Treasure. Yes, Rachel. I'm sorry.
Um, Jerry, my mind. Oh. I want to make it toast. What are we toasting? You see? Jerry, you're married with a beautiful home, beautiful family, lovely kids, beautiful woman, you know, two lovely kids. You're, you're, you're happy and all that. And they say that um, a man without a wife is incomplete. Jerry, I want to tell you today and here that I am a happy and complete man <laughs> because I have found a wife. Hi, <laughs> yes. Jerry. It's uh, Jerry, my very good friend. Hi, Jerry. Jerry, nice to meet you. My wife, I Jerry has been out of the country, you know, he's been in Japan for many years. He just came in and I don't want to shock him. Uh, you're welcome. Jerry, today I want to tell you that um, IJ is my wife. Next week, we are going to our village for a traditional marriage, you know. After that, we we'll proceed to the church for our white wedding. For God to bless our marriage. It's <laughs> good. Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you, man. <laughs> I wish you good family. Oh, you. you know? After that, I'm gonna invite you to Japan. You know? I'm gonna take care of your expenses. Oh wow. man. That's You're great. a brother, man. <laughs> That's great. Oh, That's great. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's close to that. I'm so happy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. 